Hey guys, Eastern Block Airsoft here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a video on where to get your historical airsoft or just uniforms in general. I get a lot of questions and comments on Instagram and YouTube asking where I get my kits. So that's kind of what today's video is about. Today we're going over the East German kit specifically. We'll go over the Soviet one uh, probably next week, maybe the week after. So yeah. Most of this uniform comes from Hessian Antique and eBay, but there's quite a few other places where you can get uh, East German surplus for cheaper than I paid for it. So I will go over those places as well. Starting up with the uh, BDU itself, I would go to Hessian Antique to buy the BDU because everywhere else I found it, it's been tend to be more expensive. I got both the top and pants for nineteen dollars. That's it. And if you see a East, if you see East German top pants or anything for like anywhere above thirty or maybe forty, even at the highest price, I'd pay for it. It's not worth it. Go to Hessian Antique and just get it from there. It's much better. Now the helmet, I would say, wherever you want to get it is probably fine. Hesh I bought mine from Hessian Antique as well, and it's good quality. It, I think it's original. It doesn't have any markings on it, so maybe repro, but it is. It is like just good quality. The one thing I'd say about it is, if you're gonna get it, make sure to get the other type of net if you're gonna get a net this net is not the correct one it's really hard to put on so yeah just keep in mind for that the correct one should have little clips that attach to the edges of the helmet rather than a string on the inside next moving on to the combat pack again I'd go to Hessian Antique for this uh, this is just the pack not the Zeltabon um, it's you're gonna find a better deal on Hessian Antique they're like 10 bucks maybe 11 bucks it's a good deal. They're usually pretty good quality. I have, uh, a friend of mine has uh, this as well, and it's not bad quality. It's not falling apart, not stained or anything. So it's good. Hessian Antique is the way to go. Um, but for the Zeltabon, Hessian Antique sells them for $40, I'm pretty sure, which is on the pricier side. So if you can get these locally at a surplus store or something, I'd definitely go for that. But if you can't find them locally or anything, eBay is also a good place, but if if you find them for really expensive, like 70 bucks or anything, which I've seen, don't go for that. That's not worth your money, and you'll be able to find it for a lot cheaper. The gas mask bag I bought on eBay uh, for $7. It's just East German gas mask bag. That's all it is. Most of this stuff is generally really cheap, and you can find it for uh, like most everything on here besides the helmet and maybe a couple other things were under $30. Moving on to the closer details of this, this is the mag pouch. I actually bought this in a set with some other things with a grenade pouch which is incorrect. It's UTV which is not my kit. But this uh, I got in a set for $30 which came with the grenade pouch, a belt, and a mess kit and this for thirty dollars which is a good deal usually they're about twenty dollars which is about the right price to spend um the bayonet here this bayonet is probably one of the more expensive parts of the kit uh more like forty or fifty dollars if you can find them again locally is best also i'd check ebay for this also check eBay for the mag pouch. Basically the rest of the kit is from eBay. So yeah, the bayonet, it's one of the, I'd recommend a bayonet as just any knife, which I said in my bayonet review video a while ago. But it's, it's a good knife and if you're trying to complete a kit, it's also just good quality. The canteen I got on eBay, it was 10-ish dollars. 
that's all it is just the canteen the belt um i got on ebay i had the wrong belt at first which came with the kit and i was informed by many of you on youtube that my belt and shoulder boards were incorrect which still yet to get the better shoulder boards but this is the correct belt um I would look for nice belts that aren't rusting or anything on the inside. Mine has a little bit of damage right here. And usually these run between $5 and $15. And I wouldn't spend anywhere upwards of $15. The key to buying East German surplus or East German kit is just you don't need to look expensive. It's all just generally most of it's under $30 with the occasion of the bayonet, the helmet, and the entrenching tool. Like I said, I bought most of my kit from Hessian Antique and eBay, but these aren't the only places to go. There's definitely, there's German.Militaria, there's, literally, it's just German DOT Militaria, there's uh, NVA Uniform.de, which is a German website, uh, there's Etsy, which I kind of stay away from. They tend to, people on Etsy tend to price things up way more than they should be or they're worth. Uh, so watch out for that. eBay is a good place. It's kind of like your starting line um, If you're gonna go look for things like the equipment like the, the shovel the bayonet things like that are best to be found on eBay But like the uniform itself the backpack I'd go for Hessian antique uh, NVA uniform.de Eastern or German dot .com. All good so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you put together your kits, just kind of inform you a little bit more where to get your stuff. Like I said earlier, Soviet kit will be coming soon sometime, where to get that. Um, so yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Auf Wiedersehen.